Uh, no, you don't have to leave. You just can't be disruptive. Right. We're going to do a little lesson in here. Uh, you're free to ask questions, but not be disruptive. No, I'm just it's, well, we're, it's the same content. Huh? We're working on math. We're working on algebra. I'll just do this. Like, I'm not teaching philosophy or some shit like that. This is, al this is algebra also. It just like goes over more problems. So like we were going over factoring shit, and I think that's a good thing to go over more. Uh, well, what's today's lecture? I'm like day three of lecture. Day four. Day four. Yeah. I don't know. But we'll figure it out. What we're going over on is, in this one is R four factory. We started it, and I want to like hit you with it some more, like doing that. Like practice getting that factoring because if you can factor, you're gonna this is this whole semester is gonna be a lot easier. In fact, if you go on your trade and calculus, that'll be easier too. So like let's start off with yeah. Yes, if you go over to building A, I believe there is a microwave halfway down really? in the hallway. They might have moved it out, but that's one I know of. Uh, you could also go upstairs. I don't know which room it is. It's on this side of the building. It says student success. Uh, I think they have a microwave in there. They might not. So, and, and how does this qualify as non disruptive? Back in Jimmy. I thought he was going to ask a math question, but like, nope. Back to pull the Jimmy. Uh, let's go 20 x squared y squared and we'll go with plus uh, oh let's go with 12 x y cubed we want to factor that Does anybody remember what we did? Well, you, you could take a x squared out and a y out, right? Can we take an x squared out? No, just an x. Sorry. All right, so we can take an X out, we can take a Y out. What about number wise? Is there anything we can take out? No, the 15 messes it up. Uh, it looks like this is not going to do a lot, but we got to check. In fact, let's go through and check it with the table. I'm going to show you guys LCD while we're doing greatest time factor. Because right now we're looking for a greatest common factor, but we need LCD later on, which is least common, lowest common denominator. And this works for both. And if you see it a couple times, you're more likely going to nail it. So 15 is 3 times 5. 20 is 5 times 4, which is 2 times 2. And 12 is 3 times 4, which is 3 times 2 times 2. And then it looks like they all have an X. And this one has two more X squares. This one has one more X. Then they all have a Y. This one has one more Y. And this one has a Y squared. I should do that as two, two columns for X. Line out a little bit better. X and X. There we go. Actually, yeah. All right. So, as Eric was saying, this is a column of X's. So, we have X in our greatest common factor. And this is a column Y. So, we have a Y in our greatest common factor. That's our GCF. So, we can factor out an XY. 
And what's left behind is 15x squared. I'm looking at this part right here, three times five and x times x. We've got 20 times x times y, and it's a minus sign. And then we've got three times two times two is 12. And we don't have any x's, but we have two y's, so y squared. So that's how we did greatest common factor. Does that ring a bell, Drew? It does, yeah. Let me give you one, to, you guys want to do on your own, and then I think I'm going to show you guys the lowest common denominator while we're at it. It uses the same table, but it did a different method. So let's go with the... Uh, Well, a to the fourth b squared uh, plus uh, nine a cubed b cubed uh, minus uh, thirty three a to the fifth power b squared. Of all the directions I pointed you, that way was not it. Oh.
So when you have multiple columns of the same number of variable, are you bringing uh, each column down to the greatest common factor? Say that again. So when you have multiple columns of the same number of variable, do they do you sum them up or multiply them? Multiply them. them. Multiply them. Oh. So are you ready? Did you do you did you have a are you done? Are you still working? I just about I just had that question so I can figure this out. Like up here, if there was another x here, we would have an x squared. X squared. Okay. I think that that's answering your question. Yeah, it is. Okay. Thank you. Good. You guys are you guys get it home? Yeah. All right. Let's take a crack at this. So 12 is 3 times 4, which is 3 times 2 times 2. 9 is 3 times 3, so I'll, I got one 3. I'll make another comp for another 3. 33 is 3 times 11. And so I'm always putting it the number in the first column that has the number in it. Like I didn't put this 3 over here. I put it in the full column, column the first column. So it looks like we're going to have a 3 in the GCD. Then when I went for A's, uh, it looks like A cubed is the smallest one. They all have an A cubed. This one had an extra A. This one had two extra A's. And if you did A times A times A and had three columns of A's, that would swap. Okay. Uh, uh, B, it looks like the lowest one is B squared. I'll do it that way, I'll write. I'll just write the B's as they are. So both ways work. I didn't have to write B squared. Uh, but looks like we got an A cubed and B squared. So you can write out each of them like I do with the B's. Or look, look at the exponents and choose the lowest one and then do that one. Because you'll find if you're like doing one for each of these, you could run out of page really quickly. You know what I mean? And we got a three in our GCD or GCF. So that would be what comes outside a three A cubed B squared. What we have left over is what goes in the parentheses. I've got two times two in A, so four A. I've got three and a B, and this was a plus, so plus three B. And then I had a minus 11 A squared. How are you guys feeling about the GCF? You getting a little bit easier? Yeah, that's 
do another one. Sounds like you, you could use some more insight. Yeah. <laughs> I got more for you. You just wait till break time. Huh? I got more. I got some, I got some shit to throw you. It's not up on the screen. Wait, what? Back to our, for our religious discussion. Although it's not for you, it's for Jim. You just participated, so you're like taking front of the fire. <laughs> All right, uh, let's come up with another one. Uh, let's go with uh, 63, uh, A to the fifth power, B squared, C to the fifth power, minus uh, 27. Uh, a to the fourth, uh, B, C, and plus, uh, oh, I don't know. let's go with the uh, 21, A, B to the fourth, C squared. I don't know who that is. I'll come back for it.
I'm giving you a drink. Oh, yeah. The beeps online, you guys good? You got a factor? My peeps. People even say my peeps anymore. If you haven't heard it in a while, probably not. <laughs> if you haven't even heard it, definitely not. I'll assume that they're good because they're not saying anything. Uh, so let's get back. Since you're here, you're going to help me do this. This is what happens when you show up. You get volunteered. That's a good thing. Help me do this. What'd you do here? That one, let's see. 63, I got nine times seven. Okay. And the lowest variable for A was just going to be A, so A to the A times A to the fourth. B times B. And C times C to the fourth. Okay. 27, I got 9 times 3. Let's see, 8 times 8 to the third. Make that an 8 to the third up there and add an extra A. Okay. Third, uh, B and C. Okay. 21, let's see. 7 times 3. A, B times B to the third, C times C squared. So what was your GCF? A GCF was A, B, C, A, B, C times C. Did everybody online get that? Yeah. Yeah. I would argue that's incorrect. A times B times C is good. What you missed was nine is actually three times three. So I'm gonna get rid of that first column. Maybe we won't make that first column a three. And add the other three over here. And I got a three here, and we'd have a third three for the 27, and I'd have a three here. And that three would be in this column over here. The GCF should have a three in it as well. So make sure you break them down all the way. You guys see that online? What was the, the divisible was, for 63? The nine wasn't broken down enough. They all had a three in the factor up. So this is a three, yeah, this is a three. So my nine is that, those two threes, those two threes. So for 63 would have been three times three times seven? Yeah. Okay. Oh, so I see. Now it's okay to leave it as a nine if you see that a nine showed up down here. Like if this was 54, there's no need to make a three times three 
when all of them have it. Just like uh, over here, I we wrote a cubed. This is a times a times a. There was no re need to write it because they all had it. If you recognize they all have a nine, do it. If they don't, make sure it's a prime number when you're done with it. So, excellent. Better learn to hear, better to learn here. So, what do we got left over here? We got seven times three is twenty-one, and I got an a to the fourth, a b, and a c to the fourth. And then I've got a minus sign. The twenty-seven is missing a nine, and an a cubed. And the final one is just missing the seven, a b cubed, and a c squared. It's up. <laughs> well, <laughs> What's up? Nothing. I'll have more for you. Oh, why? Because you opened that can of worms right now. No, 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 no. no. We will go back that job no. after after break. When the break starts. Are you sure? Because I got I got shift without a meme and no, no, no. <laughs> Are you sure? Are you sure? What about the Ten Commandments? How good? How do you feel about this? I can't hear on is that what it is? Yeah. But you're righteous. But we got to be in Adam and Eve in the story of the Garden of Eden. It's got to be a good story, right? All right, I'll blame this one. Look, I can't go different way. I do. I love it. It distracts me. I feel better. You feel what? <laughs> better. Better. <laughs> I just dragged him. I was going to try to record a little mini lecture for my calculus class before uh, you got here, Drew. And Jimmy showed up asking about why I don't believe in God. Uh, he was very, very polite about it. He said, if you don't mind my asking, because I don't want to cross any lines or anything. But why don't you believe in God, you heathen? <laughs> <laughs> That's not quite how he said it. Yeah. Oh, you're going to be like, your whole world's going to be changed. Nah. <laughs> Are you that insecure with your faith in God? No. Definitely. Then you won't mind being challenged a little bit. <laughs> yes. I'll just brush it off. Like, 
Hey, do those ministries actually do? They do. They do. I couldn't find anything good in there, though. Did you hear a capture? Yeah, no, you could uh, use your tap. And now we're from the other one up there. It's just that. It's fine. It's not good. Wait, we can. Did Jim buy it for you? He bought Eric's. No, he. You know what? I can't be noticing you're chasing away everyone that sits near you. Yeah, I don't know why. Girl, she left. Eric, you better try to try to sweet talk him with some chips. Where's Eric? Not, not, not here. here. There was somebody He's here. He's like, dude, I'm marrying you. You're like, so what? Here's some chips. How you doing, bro? <laughs> the story. Next thing we know, now you're gonna chase off the fucking Louise. Nah, I don't. He's my math major. Don't you think he's got a strong head? He'll be fine. He's a strong head. He'll be fine. No, the story behind that is we're both. He was trying, he was gonna get something, but then I ended up buying the chips. The chips got stuck, and then the one right behind it was like barely dangling off. And he's like, I'm just gonna shake it out. So he shook it and came back. That's the story you give. That's what happened. Okay, but yet the evidence is people that sat near you don't show up anymore. As soon as you start chit-chatting with them for a while, That's they true. stop fucking coming. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, I haven't bought my parking pass yet. That's why. Look at him cover for hey, you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Eric looking out. Eric, I love you, man. He's a real one. See? Thanks, See, this is why I left. You can't. I'll, this is why I love you, man. It's a little early for the word. You got a fucking relationship developed there first, bro. Yeah. So it's been a six day. He got to be able to hear you. His wife probably can't hear me yet. You shouldn't be doing this. Okay. What the fuck is that? Right, real. There are three people. Oh, two? No, there's, there's more. This is just. Oh, it's not her. It's not her. He's got his daughter. <laughs> there's no way it's his wife talk like that. That's what you Yeah, it's my daughter. They're all tripping out. Hey, don't worry, dude. I haven't got my parking pass yet either, and I haven't got a citation, so you're fine. Eric's playing the smart path. Yeah. They're not that expensive. You come in with a cup of energy drink every day. Lazy to do it. Lazy. It's, it's, it's good to go. You know what? Why do I have to go to the, the microwave? Your phone's right there. There's a fucking you know, QR code to scan with your goddamn phone. No, you know what's funny is I asked him this morning, so I said, where's the to purchase the, the parking pass? I said, well, you can do it online. It's 25 bucks. I'm great. And then I have the <laughs> You're okay. Yeah. No, you didn't buy it. I did all the way here. Oh, you did? Yes. Yeah, but you're on the way here, not after you got here and left the car in the parking lot for a while. It's, I will say, uh, I'm gonna, we're going to hear him crying. It's going to be fucking sniveling. I will say, parking enforcement here is not as as uh, as uh, upbeat as they are with my cell. And yet, yeah, you're still going to be my cell. No, you, yeah, you will. You're not going to be happy when they give you your ass a ticket. I'm not gonna be happy now. Is that a police officer right there? But I can't. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's funny. The very first day where they started uh, looking for that, if I sell it, there was already two people patrolling. I was like, damn, you guys are quick with it. No, it's no beats. Yeah, it worked too soon. Made it so weird. Yeah, somebody got <laughs> It's funny because I, I actually pulled up. You're and, still worth it, bro. Oh, my God. I'll buy you back one time. I started that shit. <laughs> How do I talk to you? You ever, know, you ever have that where you just crack yourself up so much? Just being an ass at. That's what I'm doing right now. Yeah, you are. <laughs> and I'm okay with it. I'm okay with you thinking it. So while they're working, here's your thought for the, the next five minutes. So I that, get into that. Uh -huh. uh, you know, it's I kind of like okay. I like I want to ask you why right. why it's okay. So like Adam and Eve were told, don't eat from the tree in the center of the garden. If right. you touch it, even touch it, you will die. Now we find out rather quickly that this is the tree of knowledge, and when they ate from it. They recognized that they were behaving like animals and clothed themselves, and they were punished for it. So, what does that say about how God wanted man to behave? 
They allowed evil or they could have lived in No, I could have no, lived in evil. How, what, what, how did you want them to act? We could have lived in just a natural state where nothing had to be. Without, we could live in a natural state without knowledge. We could behave oh like fucking like, yeah, tree knowledge. But, but was he, was, he was deceived by the, the serpent. But to see, oh, was he yes. deceived? Oh, yeah. No, they didn't no. die when they ate from the tree. Not even sheep. sheep. Okay. Either way, point is, was she deceived? Because she was able to eat from it, and she did not die. Right. No, but the well, well, we but the know, serpent. It's not that she died as like being. She died like meaning like who we are as people. Like, people we would perish if if there we wouldn't have everlasting life with him. Okay, I'm glad you came up with that. Yeah, right. because there was no way for us to die. Right. Right. Also, rid of all our problems, like just the some of the rid of all our problems, women. So, <laughs> so, so they would die. If they ate from it, but shortly thereafter, shortly thereafter in the Bible, why does he throw them out of the garden? Because, because that's where the tree was. No, because they might eat from the tree of life and live forever, which means there was a second tree in the garden he didn't want them eating from. He did not want any of them eating of the tree of life to be able to live forever, and he cast them out of Eden because they might eat of the tree of life. He allowed them to eat it. After they eat, they eat the, 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 he did not allow them to eat the tree of life. Yes. He cast them out yes. so that they, they would die. They ate the other tree. They ate the, what was it? Like the, the fucking apple? Like the, the tree of knowledge. Like that. They ate the tree of knowledge. Yeah. They were forbidden from also apparently eating the tree of life. So we cast them out for it so that they would not live forever. Oh. They weren't going to live forever because they hadn't been eating from the tree of life. So God lied to them. They were going to die because they weren't eating the tree of life. There was two trees they were not allowed to eat from. The story's not told well. It's first told that you can't eat from the tree of knowledge. And then it's clear that they weren't allowed to eat from the tree of life because he throws them out for her to stop them from doing it. I don't remember him saying that. Well, I'll show it to you on the screen in a second as soon as I finish this factoring. With Drew. So, Drew, how do we factor this? Uh, first column is going to be all close. Look at the big balls on this guy. I like it. That's a bold statement. Why do you say all 12s? Because they're all invisible. Did you recognize that right away? Yeah, you don't have to write three times, three times, three times, three times. Well, look at this. Well, three times, three times, three times, three won't get you 12. <laughs> no, that's addition. <laughs> three, plus three plus three plus three is twelve. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, that's not my problem. <laughs> that's not me, you're right. <laughs> Aaron knows what he's getting with this instructor. It's not my fault. His daughter's sitting on his lap. She doesn't know what I'm saying. She sounds pretty young. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. <laughs> so what goes with each of the rest? Twelve times three. I'm impressed because I didn't recognize the 12. I picked them for six, but you're right. They are factors of 12. 12 times six. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to say we're going to do three times two. Fair enough. All right. Now what? Uh, the lowest exponent is going to be x squared. Looks like and the middle one gets an x. Right. Now what? Why is the lowest exponent going to be y squared? The first one is y squared times y. And then z squared is all over. So our GCF? It's 12 x squared y squared. Correct. Now, if you didn't recognize the 12 right away and you factored it down to 6 times 2 or 3 times 4 or even all the way down to 3 times 2 times 2, all still perfectly valid. Drew did it faster than I would have done it. I was going by sixes. I didn't recognize the 12, and I would have found it if it was 12. So we write this with 12x squared y squared on the outside. Did you really just do that? Yeah. Uh, fucking, uh, you're off the hook for being a for the last few minutes, Jimmy. 
Got a new at at the table. Nice. Uh, these are all pluses, right? C squared. Ooh, C squared. Is that it? Like all it. right. We'll call that a wrap for the uh, hour. I'll start again six minutes with some other stuff.